In this video, I'll show you two ways to convert your Python script into an executable file. So let's get started. For this example, I'm going to use this Python script that automates my Excel reporting. I built this script in a previous tutorial, but feel free to use any script you want. With that said, let's see the two options. So the first option is called autopy to exe and to install it, you need first to open a command prompt. On Windows, you have to press the Windows key plus R, then type CMD and press enter. While on Mac, you have to press the CMD key and the spacebar on your keyboard. Type terminal and click on the first option. Then you will see this window and to install autopy to exe, write the following. Pip install autopy to exe. After this, just press enter to start the installation. So just enter and just give it a second and mine is already installed. So I'm going to clear this app and to launch this autopy to exe, I just write on the terminal autopy to exe. Then I press enter and after this, you should see a GUI opened. So just give it a second. And now you see this nice GUI that it's going to help us convert a PI file to an executable file. Okay, now before we start using this tool, make sure that the environment where you install AutoPy to exe has all the libraries that your Python script needs to work properly. So to verify all the libraries that your virtual environment has, just run pip list. Okay, now that everything is set up, we're going to start by browsing the script that we want to convert to an executable file. But first, I'm going to show you the script I want to convert. So it's here in my scripts folder. It's called automate underscore Excel that belongs to a tutorial I did before. And now I'm going to open it up to show you what's inside. So this is the script I'm going to convert. And in this case, I made some little changes because the executable file has some problems with relative path and I'm using some path here. So in case your Python script reads some path, make sure you either use absolute path or include the line of code I'm selecting right now in your script. However, if your script isn't reading any path, you can leave your script as it is. Okay, now let's convert this Python script to an executable file. So first we click on browse and now we double click on the Python script we want to convert. Now we have to choose whether we want to create one directory or one file. The first creates a directory with all the dependencies your script needs to run, including the executable file, while the second creates only a single executable file. For this example, I'll choose the one file option. Next, we have to choose whether the console will be displayed or not. If you choose console based, the console will open after running the executable file, which is recommended if your script generates console based outputs. However, if you don't want to show the console outputs when running the executable file, just choose window based. My script needs the name of an Excel spreadsheet to be introduced as input in order to create my Excel report. So I'm going to choose console based. Then we can add an icon for the executable file. In this case, I'm not going to choose any icon. We can also add an additional file that the script needs to run properly. In my case, my script doesn't need any additional file, so I'm going to leave as it is. And then we can add some advanced options. I don't usually touch this section, but there is one option you need to know in case you see the module found not error. And it's this hidden import option. So in case you see this error, just open this one and write the library that is missing. Only do this if you see this error. If you don't see it, just leave it as it is. Finally, there is the settings option. And here we can modify the path where the executable file will be exported. To do so, click on the setting option and browse the output directory you wish to have. So in my case, I'm going to export this executable file into the scripts folder. And that's it. All these steps we did just built this current command that you see now on the screen and is using PyInstaller under the hood. So now to convert, just press that blue button that says convert Py to exe 
and then wait a couple of seconds and here in my folder I have this new executable file with the same name as my Python script and if I double click on it it's gonna do exactly what my Python script is supposed to do. So first here on terminal it asks me to insert the file name that I'm using as input so here it's the file name I'm using as input and then I press enter and the executable file does its job and now it automates my Excel reporting and that's it this is how you convert a Python script into an executable file using autopy 2 exe okay the second option is called pyinstaller and this is perfect for those who like using the terminal. First, we open the terminal and we write pip install py installer. Then we press enter and wait until the installation is done. Then to convert our Python script into an executable file, we write py installer and then we write the same commands we used in the first option. So for example, one file, console, hidden import and so on. In this case, I'm going to use only one file and then just write the name of the Python script we want to convert because I'm already on that directory using the terminal. And that's it. That's how you convert a Python script into an executable file. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. That's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.